Jericho. Third and nine for DC. Dabu pressure. He is dropped. Ball is out. And Vegas is on top of it. Pita Tomopenu. What a turnover. Really on the field is a fumble recovered by the defense. The recovery player was down and touched. His first down and goal, Las Vegas. Vegas. Handing it off on the ground. DeAndre Torrey, and he is in there for a touchdown. Extra points here in the XFL. Here's Perez. He flushed. Stepping up, and he takes a shot. Reggie Northrup just laid him out. Looking in zone. Back of it. Caught. Touchdown, San Antonio, Deion Yelder. Wisconsin is able to find Deion Yelder for the hookup from three yards out. The Renegades, William Likely deep to receive. Likely situated at his 50. Takes it across the 40. Likely cuts back. Likely has space. Likely's got clearance. There's a flag on the play for now, punt of 41 and a return of 50. Remember, the kicking team was in downfield early. Number 85, that five yard penalty to be added on the other front. First down. Silvers in the middle, wide open. Boom! Touchdown, Houston. On the punts. Silvers then punches it in. Fake to Borgie. Silvers keeps it, throws it back, tipped, caught, two points, good. I think it was going to be a draw play. <laughs> Safety blitz, and they run right past it. Huge opportunity for Orlando behind Martin, and he's able to pick up the first down on the draw. And this is just really aggressive here from San Antonio's defense. Jim Herman dialing up, safety blitz, strong side, thinking... They're going to be an obvious. 32. Tavo, quarterback keeper. Look at that lane open up on the left side. Still on his feet. Gets out of bounds inside the 40. Our Paxton Lynch. Back in the end zone. Touchdown to Rodgers. Just a bust in coverage here. Leads to Rodgers being wide open in the back. Touchdown. Nice to be wide open in the back of the end zone. How were you so open? Um, I guess it was just a busted coverage. So uh, just thankful I caught the ball and the quarterback saw me. That's a humble answer. You're supposed to say, I was the reason for the busted coverage. It'll make you dance though, right? Oh, no, nah, no. Nah. You know, quarterback did a great job finding me. Ricky Prohl. Danucci back at it. Pearson's wide open. Pearson's got the sideline. He's got to get up. Case in point. Josh Gordon doing what Josh Gordon does. See that motion by the running back? All of a sudden, Jacor Pearson becomes number three, and that, that affects Mike Rose, number 27. He over. Well, that motion affects it, and then Jacor Pearson, who is a speedster, ran a 4-2. XFL teams, two for four for three in week one. Danucci rocked, but not before he let it go to Josh Gordon. Played at Ole Miss, and then the conversion, Josh Gordon on this route. Corner route, Ben DiNucci gets the protection that he needs. With Stoops. That's likely from his 10. Had a big return earlier. He's active with the ball's on the turf. Can Arlington recover? They do. Sal Canella. Plitt back to his right. Over the middle. Touchdown, Renegades. Lawan Winningham, who forced the fumble on the punt. Shepard behind McCarron. He's going to push him in. McCarron is in. Touchdown, St. Louis. Easy going is likely back to receive the King punt. King's got a big leg. Drives likely back to his 12, but that gives him space. We see likely has got big game speed. The ball is on the turf again. Arlington recovers again. Back up. Ball is loose, and Vegas looks like they have it. Let's see the call. Vegas. It's gonna be first Look at this Vegas. ball pop out, go straight up into the air. 
heady play by Vegas on defense and a lost opportunity for DC to get back into this game. Vegas Holtz takes the ball over. Third and nine, Clint, Canella, Canella, corner. Touchdown, Arlington. Check that, Nate Becker in the end zone for the Renegades. Plant just chucks it to the end zone. How about it? Tyler Vaughns is there. You blink, and it's 14-11. On second and 15. What a beautiful catch by Mack, and he's got the sideline for a huge first down. Alizé Mack out of Notre Dame for 19. It's from Alizé Mack, it's a perfect play call. You overload the protection, you force the hot. The corner is there to pick up the flat. It's a two. St. Louis has converted their last three on third down. Pressure and a sack. The ball comes loose. It's still loose. It's picked up finally by Darius Shepard. Tape, when you watch the right tackle, number 73, he shoots his hands, and so those hands are available to be beat. And so as a right tackle, as an offensive lineman, you want to try and punch. End zone shot caught. Touchdown, San Antonio. Alizé Mack from 19. Goal line fade. Why would you not do it from the 10? I mean, <laughs> as opposed to for a two point conversion from the two. Either way, that's a heck of a throw. The press and then hit throw in the flat. The fade, and it is caught for a one point conversion on the touchdown. And you heard Vasher. Six foot six goes up and makes the play. It's Terrell Buckley not happy with the on first and 15. Tom who pressured at his feet and the ball is out. Scooped up by Vegas. That's Vic Beasley. Former Ray Guy finalist. Boots it away. Pearson lost it. He touched it. Live ball. St. Louis back in business. At the 22-yard line. Taking a shot. It's caught at the goal line and in. Jalen Tolliver with a 24-yard touchdown on third of five. Great throw here from Jack Cohn. Got the slot fade. You hold him up with the back shoulder. That's now two back shoulders. They've thrown touchdowns off. Shot over the middle. Touchdown, Houston. Cedric Bird. So, it used to be punting out of bounds is a good thing. Now you got to. Oh, they got it. We got a block. We got a block. Score, score, score. That's all right. That's all right. That's good. Um, yeah, they won, they won the return. Better Aussie coming over to the SEC. Good operation, just so clean. As you can see, nobody picking up Johnson as he just flies right between the guard and the tackle and attacks the foot of the punter. Excellent execution. Now I give the score. Pressure. Ball is out. Houston recovers. They'll take it straight ahead and in. It's John Hillman. Let the big fella celebrate. Eric King, he's been effective. Keeps it himself, trying to find a seed. Nobody brings him down. Touchdown, DC defenders. Now you notice DC here going for one, because they've got the run game advantage. It's a go! Oh, bad snap, did the ball come out? St. Louis is saying we got it. He doesn't have it. Okay, we can go, Frank. We can go. Turnover. Atkins here with me. Take us onto the field. Short yardage. First down on the line. Take us on there. What, what happened? Uh, you know, we just uh, did what our coach taught us. We groundhog. Big man, 9-6. He, uh, he hit the center, you know, and made the uh, quarterback bump into him, and he fumbled the ball. I just picked it up. I think you scored, but hey, that's not, didn't get reviewed. What will Marcus Spears say? Big man ball. There it is. Here comes the pressure. Good job by the line. It is tipped, and it's intercepted. Space for Davis. 
Sean Davis, a big interception flag on the play, but Houston with a timely turnover. Hey, hey, alert, 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 Cut. Pressure coming, Francois dumps it, and it is... Touchdown for Latimer! It's snap of the possession. There's a great effort there from Latimer and a good job too by Francois. Goes in motion. Hummer looking to throw on fourth and two. Nobody open. Pocket closing. Ball is out! And DC has jumped on top of it. Disaster for Vegas on fourth down. See Brett Hundley just trying to keep this thing alive. It's fourth and two, nowhere to go with the ball. Initially protection, it's exactly where you need it to be. The walls come closing in and doesn't secure the football on a wet, rainy injury. After the roughing the kicker penalty, they don't have another punter. And that's lobbed up and picked off. Oh! Chance for a return to Tejada. And he's out of bounds after the pick. He's going to make a young fan say, oh, oh, he's not going to give it to him. Giving up the ball? Hey, this is the first one of the season. I got to keep this one special. <laughs> it's kids, though. It's kids. Hey, I, it, it took a lot of hard work to get here, so I got to hold on to this Tell one. Tell him to go get a different I got one. It. Go get, you, I give him a dummy ball. Go give like, him a fake one. Maybe, maybe go I'm, give him a kicker nah, ball. This one, me. this one going back to the family. King will hand this one off to Smith. Lowers the shoulder. Gets in the end zone. Abram Smith, he's delivering the blow. A nine-yard touchdown run. The run to Abram Smith, late give. Walker, back foot, shot to Butler. The key Butler to the 20, trying to leg it, and he's got it. St. Louis has taken the lead. Hakeem Butler with late game magic. Hey, two, 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 two. Hey, clock's going, AJ, clock's going, AJ, clock's going. Motion in, give up the middle, touchdown, Max Borgie. Touchdown, it's a 44-yard reception. Notice he's lined up a little bit wider. He's 6'6", he's tall. The safety has to stay inside leverage. Once he gets cut across his face, it's hard to make this play. And then that stiff arm is what leaves the rest. What does he do with it? Three minutes left. He's got Josh Gordon. Gordon to the 40. Slips the tackle. Down to the 26-yard line. Waiting for the former All-Pro to break out, and he just did. Josh Gordon led the NFL in receiving in 2013. He set records, a four-game record for most receiving yards in that same year. An All-Pro. Danucci. The Cal Golden Bear has done it. Now, what are you doing? The carrot. Pro! Welcome back to Seattle, Austin Pro. He was the clutch receiver in the comeback win against San Antonio. Back in the city where his pops was a star and doing it again. Hagman for the win. Hagman got the win. St. Louis back to back comeback thrillers. Good job. 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 Comeback victories in the fourth quarter. What are the qualities of a team to be able to make that happen? A bunch of dogs. <laughs> Listen, this team uh, never quits. And um, man, I, I'm just so proud of these guys. I really am. Uh, this team means a lot to me. I know last week it was really emotional with your family and your boys being able to share that. What will you tell them about moments like this in your career? I think them watching daddy never give up. Uh, you know, ever since I came out of college, I've been kind of counted out a little bit. And, uh, you know, it's just fun to come out here and play. I, I just, I miss playing. Uh, not always just 
being a backup, and that's a great living. It really is, and I, and I absolutely love it. But I love playing, and uh, this is special, and I can't thank the XFL enough. It's been awesome.